standard practice and this is something I always encourage. In addition to this, what we're finding is that once you draft the contract, the assignee and the assigner are bound by that contract, the contract is then to be approved by the builder. What we're seeing now is that many builders are coming back with terms as a part of their assignment agreement. For them to consent to the assignment, they're saying, for example, the new buyer won't be entitled to any delayed occupancy compensation, which can be up to $7,500 per Terion. They're saying that the $24,000 HST rebate that they were entitled to from the start, they're requiring the new buyer to pay that money at the time of closing and then deal with the CRA directly, which means that you as a buyer, you're gonna to have to come up with a lot more money at the time of closing to close this transaction. In addition to that, they're going back and altering the actual agreement of purchase and sale. So because of this, I highly, highly, highly recommend that in addition to making your ORIA or assignment agreement conditional upon your attorney's review, it is imperative that you put in another provision which requires the offer to be conditional upon reviewing the actual assignment terms that the builder puts through for the acceptance of the assignee and the assignor. Make sure, make sure your offer is conditional upon reviewing the actual builder's terms as a part of the assignment. I hope this video helps. Like, comment, share, and we'll see you again on the next one.